Oh, oh, it's the dream. Oh, this one's the dream. Wait, we're at the Hall of Fame. Is there a, is there a wrestling match at the, at the Hall of Fame? What's happening? Oh, uh, we got. Oh, oh, Peyton. We got to talk to Peyton. It's been a while. I feel like I recognize you from somewhere. I beat you up in the Calories. snow. Oh, I know. You look just like the woman in those TV commercials for IBS. I think it's that scrunched up, miserable face you're always making. Get it, I Peyton. I beat you in my... Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. But congrats on winning that... Please. Oh, do we get to fight Peyton now? Can we fi fight Peyto? Oh, no, we don't. Okay. Uh, what happens if we go to Trey? Trey does... Oh, wait. Right back anything? No? Okay, cool. What's up, H? I just want to reiterate that we had no intention of signing you to NXT. Possibly ever. But thanks to your friend sticking her neck out for you, that's obviously changed. So I suggest you make the most of this opportunity. I will. Wait, so are you saying your buddy X-Pac never mentioned me? No, he did. <laughs> oh, okay. So at least you have his recommendation to go off of too. I said he mentioned you. I didn't say it was good. Yeah, it's not about who you know. It's about who's who will say that they know you. And X-Pac just said, Yeah, you put my buddy in a dipe. You put my buddy in a big old dipe. Uh, oh, we're back in the so future. Much. Oh, wait. Then why were you in so it's the future day? Hall of Fame. Oh, hey, Miz. Miz, you just right hanging out in the back? That's cool. Obligations. I mean, if one more person says something dumb like, Look, it's red on the red carpet. I'm going to strangle them. Um, red? Well, there goes my opening line. <laughs> Shut up, Byron. She's nervous. Anyway, I've been covering the WWE Hall of Fame for almost 15 years, and I've never seen anything like this. We've had individuals, tag teams, oh, hey, Xbox. factions, families, but never a pair of best friends inducted together. This is truly a special night. It really is, Byron. But just because our in-game <laughs> careers are over, doesn't mean we can't continue to give back to that the That look on that Byron's so face, like, I in guess fact, it's it's whatever, I'm like cool. Announce, I'm available for commentary and hosting work. So, WWE, if you're looking to freshen things up around here, then you know where to find me. Are you trying to take my job? Take what? the job. I'd never do that. Don't be so insecure, Byron. Okay, well, that concludes one of the most interesting red carpet interviews of all time. Live TV, everyone. What no enthusiasm at all from there. <laughs> off of you. And maybe I was auditioning for a gig. You don't want to stay involved in some way? No. When I said I was done, I meant it. Red. Trey. It's Hell the dream. Trey. Congratulations. But just keep in mind. It's one thing to achieve your dreams. But you will never be the dream. Great to see you too. See, so I guess it's Dream I that I guess our, our Trey's first matches against that Dream, maybe? Awesome. I don't know. Yeah. Well, at least it didn't end with someone getting knocked out like back in the day. Also, aren't the Hall of Famers usually like backstage? Why are they just coming out? Hey, where are you going? Huh. The show hasn't even started. Okay, back in time now. I don't have anything to do, so I'm leaving. Seriously? You should stay. You, you never know what could happen. Plus, it at least gives the impression that you care. I do care. In fact, I care too much, which is why I can't take just sitting around doing nothing while everyone else gets opportunities. We're still relatively. I just realized you can see like a little bit of Fieri hairline up there. You can see a little bit of the white of, of Guy Fieri's bleached you, blonde no hair behind Trace. Like all over again, right down to having to ask permission to use the bathroom. Who makes you do that? Cassius Ono. Wait, is he just messing with me? <laughs> See? This exactly is my new favorite like headcanon is Cassius Ono telling people that he has, they have to ask him to use really? the bathroom. Watch this. Hey, Ricochet. Good luck with your match tonight. Oh, thanks, Troy. He almost got your name right. That's a start. If that doesn't prove my point, I've also asked just about everyone on the roster to be my partner for the Dusty Classic, and they all said no. Or Is he going to partner with Mickey James? <laughs> okay, fine. Maybe there's some truth to what you're saying, but I still believe it'll get better. 
Do you think anyone would catch on if you disguised yourself as a man so you could be my partner? <laughs> I want this storyline! I, I want this storyline! Please! I'm focused on beating Rhea Ripley to get a shot at the NXT Women's Championship. It's gonna be tough since she's gonna fight Rhea again. I beat her in the Mae Young Classic. But at least you have the Mae Young Classic win. It proved you belong here. My problem is everyone thinks I'm just riding your coattails. Well, you know what? From now on, I'm gonna ride my own coattail. How do you plan on doing that? I need to do something big to get people's attention. Something that'll change the narrative. And I need to do it tonight. I like the fact that you're not just giving up and going home. But keep in mind, I put my reputation on the line by getting you hired here. So anything you do ultimately reflects back on me. Is I Trey understand? about to get us fired <laughs> from NXT? That absolute idiot. Hey, do you know where I could get some handcuffs on short notice? And now I'm worried. Yeah, we're getting kicked out of NXT. Oh no, <laughs> Hamilton doesn't have a voice either. For the NXT Women's Championship. Oh God, oh God, Troy. Before we get to that match, which my friend Red is gonna dominate, there's something I need to say. When I was signed to NXT, I was told to make the most of my opportunity. Well, so far, the only opportunity I've had is to sit in the back every week like some kind of glorified cheerleader watching everyone else do their thing while I ask myself over and over again why I'm not out here. Maybe it's because I'm not good enough in the ring. Or I don't have the right look. Trey's voice actor is much better at cutting a promo way. than Red's. Or maybe it's simply because my friend helped me get a job and no one can see me as anything other than a charity case. I could drive myself crazy trying to figure it out, but one thing's for sure. If I never get a chance to show what I'm capable of, how will anyone know if I deserve to be here or not? Luckily, there's a tournament coming up that has put countless NXT superstars on the map. The Dusty Classic. Only problem is, I've tried and tried to find a partner, and so far, all I've gotten is a bunch of no's, blank stares, and who the heck are you's? But there's one person I haven't asked yet. Someone who calls themselves the Dream. But they've never competed in the Oh, snap. I didn't expect dream. this. The American dream I assume Velveteen Dream is going to just come and kick so our ass and we're not going to be in the uh, in the Velveteen tournament. Dream but yeah, I, re I actually really like this storyline. I wouldn't mind seeing this like on real NXT. All right. You know that's not how this works, right? Like you could just stand there you don't have to worry about like yourself leaving the ring <laughs> dream looks so done right now Can I skip ahead? No, we just gotta watch Velveteen walk to the ring nice and ominously for a few. That's cool, I guess. Oh, he has to make a joke about the handcuffs, right? So, are you gonna be my partner? Because as you can see, I'm not going anywhere until I get a yes. The dream always keeps a spare handcuff key on his person. You never know when you might need it. <laughs> I knew it. I like his little shimmy, his little handcuff shimmy. If you want the dream to be your partner, then you need to prove yourself by beating the dream in a match later tonight. Oh, okay, that's how we do attention. it. That's cool. Well, let's see if you can keep it. Okay. 
That's gonna be cool. Now can I please wrestle? Did he just do a two sweet? That's cool, bud. That's cool. Can I please do my match though? Okay, now <laughs> Red is like, absolutely not. What, what the, the heck fuck? Was all that? Me riding my own coattail. Well, maybe give me a heads up next time you're gonna hijack the show right before my match. You got this. Okay, good. Oh, thank God we didn't have to worry about an entrance. Bow! That did not feel good, but I'm gonna make sure Rhea feels worse. Yeah! Boom! And options. HUD back on, thank you. Yeah! Bounce off the ropes and... Yeah, okay. I was like, I, 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 like, it's like sometimes the game wants to let me reverse and sometimes the game is like, whatever, it doesn't matter. I do like how I just basically focus on clotheslines, chops. You know, let's go to the top rope. Let's give the people something to look at. And shablam! And there's another one. There's another one of them patented clotheslines and stomps. Y'all ain't here to watch me wrestle, right? You're just here to enjoy what's going on. You got the stomps down, girl. You got the stomps down. I like she's like, just bring it, and then I'll stomp on you some more. Oh no! She's learned to evade my most powerful move, but not the second time. No! You get back here, Rhea. Can I springboard? No, I can't. Ow! Loria oh, seems hyped. Hi, Rhea. Oh, no! She messed me up. She messed me up bad. Tina, we gotta come back from this and we gotta come back fast. No! She's really good at evading that clothesline, but I've got. I'm getting better at reversing at least. There you go. Avoid that. There we go, pick her up. Standing strike. Time to watch a cutscene. Oh damn, big kick. Off the ropes, super kick, super kick. Falls back into the pinfall. One, two, three. Wait, what? No. That's not how this works. No part of her body was on me. That's not a pin. Oh, so we finally get to have a little intrigue with a triple threat. That's cool. Well, that's kind of ridiculous. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Awesome. Get William Regal out here. Get him to be like, War Games, or whatever, you know. Oh, I was hoping that it was like, do you want to brawl afterwards? And I was like, yes. But now it's time for us to fight the dream. I'm gonna skip as much of this as possible. I don't know if there's a way I can turn off entrances, but I desperately need to. Oh man, I forgot that's what Trey looked like. Big boot, big stomps, it's all the same. At least I can hit big boots on him. I don't know what it was about Cole Quinn that was just constantly evading the big boot. All right, let's get that HUD on. I swear one of these days I'm gonna back out and actually turn, turn HUD on automatically. Uh-oh. Yeah! I am getting good at this. I don't know what it is. I guess it's because I'm like on easy mode and usually on 2K19 I'll play on hard mode, but this game is very, very easy. <laughs> no, dream. Not after I said it was easy. Bam, 
Shot to the head. Shot to the face. And it's... No! I was going to take you to Stomp Head City. I guess instead I'll take you to Throw City and now Stomp Head City. Stomp that head. Stomp the head. What's Ryback doing? He's a stomp the head. Stomp that head. Stomp the head. What's Ryback doing? He's a stomp the head. Now stomp the arm. Stomp the arm. We're working away the dream's body. Okay, you just never got a reverse dream. There we go. And now you're down. Okay, there we go. Now we can actually do some real damage. No! Why are they so good at reversing those things? Ow. Boom. Yes. Do your very slow taunt that's probably gonna result in me getting my butt beat. No! Oh, God, that didn't look like it felt good. Okay, Ryback, whatever he does. Reverse it! No! Reverse it! No! Ow! Okay. We're good. Aha! I said we were good and I meant it! Ow! No, 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 no! Ow! No, 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 no! Ow! No, 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 no! Ow! No, 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 no! Yeah! Get back in it! Okay, come on. Ryback, we can't let him do this. We can't let him do this to you, Ryback. Big stomp. Pick him up. Well, that's technically a standing strike game, so I feel a little offended that you don't think it's... That's a... St I'm doing standing strikes! I don't know what the game wants me to do. Pick him up. I guess just hit your finish. Yeah, there you go, baby. Choke out the dream and then slam. Now, standing. He's standing. Strike. Okay, game didn't like it at first. But now setting up. Could be setting up for a suplex. Oh, the dream with the strength. And then... Oh no, oh no, neck breaker! Oh, yes! Uh oh. This is, does not bode well for old Trey. Because I think he is about to get a big old piece of it. Purple. Rain. Wait for it. Rain. Maker! Oh no, does Dream wanna... Does Dream wanna team with us? Does Dream want to team with... Oh my gosh, what? That's awesome! Hell yeah, dude, we got a partner for the Dusty Rhodes Classic! I mean, he didn't have to hit the Purple Rainmaker on us, but that was cool. The Dream and the Demon Goat, known as Trey, entering the Dusty Rhodes Classic. Please let me skip to the end. Don't let it be like the Mae Young Classic where, you know, I, or let it be like the Mae Young Classic where I got to go straight to the finals. Don't make me actually have to do stuff. But wow, we, we're doing it. We're entering a tag team tournament. We got triple threats. We got tournaments. This game's getting interesting, y'all.